good morning or maybe it's not morning for you right now um, maybe it's another time of the day a time where you've set aside a time to spend with god and to go a little deeper today is wednesday may 29th and this is day three of the chapter titled can jesus restore my relationships and today's specific question actually asks us to look at three different passages uh, while considering what these verses tell us about women the redemption and restoration in Christianity. The passages really are short, so let's take a moment to read them. The first one is Luke 8, 2 through 3. And also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases, Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out, Joanna, the wife of Chusa, the manager of the Herod's household, Susanna, and many others. These women were helping to support them out of their own means. Philippians 4, 2 through 3 says, I plead with Yodia and I plead with Syntyche to be the same mind in the Lord. Yes, I, and I ask you, my true companion, help these women, since they have contended at my side in the cause of the gospel, along with Clement and the rest of the co my co-workers, whose names are in the book of life. In the same way, was not even rehab. Oh, sorry, let me let me go ahead and go back to this. James 2.25. In the same way, was not even Rahab, the prostitute, considered righteous for what she did when she gave lodging to the spies and sent them off in a different direction. I look at these passages really as reminders of how God loves us. Not when we are perfect, though. Do you get that? Because we are not, in case you're wondering. I'm not. And he loves us for who we are. Our condition really is how Adam presented that on Sunday. God already knows our hearts and still wants us to be in a relationship with him. He longs to be in union with us. Do you know that word union? Really, you cannot separate something if, it, if they are in union together. He doesn't look at the times we mess up our mishaps and moments of, well, being human. We've all had them. I know I have had mine. As I reflect on some of those dumb moments in my life, you know, the times when I've let sin enter in, when I have thought less of myself, or maybe as simple as times of being distracted when I forget about what I should be focusing on, and that is God. I'm thankful that He looks at me in and in that similar way in the passage of Mark 5, 34 that we read on Sunday, he sees me, he knows me. And still he says, daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace and be freed from your suffering. He never wants us to suffer. Are you there today? Are you suffering? Is something keeping you? from having that union with God. All of these women in these passages had faith that God had the power to restore them, and he did. He restored them. He simply redeemed them, righting all their wrongs. It wasn't left up to the power of the human to solve the problem. Isn't that a good thing? They simply believed in God's redemptive power restored them. My human mind tricks me and I bet yours does too. And sometimes I forget the power that comes from my faith in Jesus. And I let my relationship with him get set aside. Do you have faith that God is who he says he is? Then accept the restoration. Trust me, I say that, and I know I'm speaking to myself as much as any of you. I am restored. And I long to be in union with God. I have to remind myself of that union because I know I get confused and forget that my faith is what brings me into the relationship with Jesus. He restores my soul. Isn't that a beautiful thing? He restores you. In our verses, he redeemed all the women who had many things wrong, but he doesn't focus on the wrong, thankfully. He loves who we are. He forgives our wrongs. And he loves us still because of our relationship with him. 
can Jesus restore my relationships? He most certainly can, but he wants to start with the relationship with him first. Please know that you are loved. You are the son and the daughter of son or daughter of the king, and he redeems us. He longs to be in a relationship with you, to be in union with you. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just want to pray right now for the individuals that are listening to this, Lord, that if they feel a separation from you, or that they know that it is nothing that they need to do other than to believe in your power, your redemptive love for us, and the power that you have to restore us. Lord, I thank you, Father, for that. In your name we pray. If you are struggling with knowing the power of redemption, please reach out to us because it is available. Church, until we are together again, you are sent.